Hey, I'm Mark, and today's project I'm going to be converting this old AC welder into a DC welding machine. DC welders will uh, I'll be able to burn 70, 18 rods uh, a lot smoother. It's almost impossible to weld with AC 70, 18. They do make AC rods uh, for 70, 18, and I've tried them, and it's just a lot of uh, spitting and sputtering and spatter, and it's it's just a nightmare. Uh, I didn't pay but uh, about two, three hundred dollars for this machine, and I've had it for 20 years. And you can still buy them, and they're still around three hundred dollars. Uh, DC machine, they run like eight hundred dollars. So um, I bought some 300 amp diodes, bridge rectifier, and the AC current from the machine uh, I'll wire into here on the bottom and then <clears throat> DC positive and negative will come out the top so <clears throat> it has us pretty heavy and it has a heat sink on the back I'm just going to mount it straight to the face of the machine <clears throat> cut the cables and mount it right in and the heat sink will, will put the heat into the machine this machine is only rated at a 20 percent duty cycle basically that means you can weld two minutes out of ten and you have to let it cool off those eight minutes. So it's not a machine that's for production or you can't push it. For what I do around here, just welding tractor implements and building little stuff here and there, I don't burn three or four rods a week. So this would be more than enough for me. Well, let's get started. So self-tapping screw. I've already looked on the back side from underneath and there's nothing behind here for several inches. mounted good and strong so I know the alternating curtain goes in here so it doesn't matter which side you put the wire on so I'm going to cut it here and we'll put on a clamp get that connected up all right we got that one side done I still have to tighten it just simply peel back the insulation slide it on and I'm hoping I'll get the results of a D good DC machine. I know I still have the same duty cycle, but at least I'll be able to weld stuff that I, like log splitters and stuff in, from my tractor that's sure enough going to be put to the test as opposed to having to run 6011 rods and 7014s, which are Plenty strong, but it's not a 7018. Next, we'll get the. I know that this is the positive. I checked it with my meter, and this will be the negative. I want the negative to be holding the rod, and the positive going to the ground to my work. Well, I got it all hooked up and turned on. Let's give it a try. Well, it sounds good. A whole lot easier to weld with. Almost impossible to weld with just AC. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. That's plenty good for what I'm doing. Yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. 